what is the impact of long-term stays on your Airbnb listing? My name is Jeff Brown, founder of IntelliHost, and today I want to walk you through how offering long-term discounts can drive more revenue for your Airbnb. So we analyzed the numbers to figure out what impact a long-term stay discount is having. Now, we have thousands of properties that we're tracking data for on IntelliHost, and so we have this source of truth that we can use, and we found over 2,000 examples of when someone didn't have a long-term stay discount and then added it, and then we compared the impact before and after. So a long-term stay is defined on Airbnb as a 28-day stay or more. So if you're offering, and you can see this right in your Airbnb profile, you can offer a pricing discount if they booking 28 days or more. And we're not bucketing this into volume of discount or percentage. All we're saying is for those that don't and those that do, or for those that didn't and then added a long-term stay discount, what's the difference okay so let's look at this in terms of the four booking funnel metrics that are on airbnb okay first one impressions now an impression is every time somebody sees you in the search result okay and overall what we see is about a 30 percent increase for those that added a long-term stay discount so the average daily impressions for the properties was about 204 and they jumped to about 271. So 33% increase is pretty significant. Now, the first page impression rate did not improve. What this means is Airbnb did not give them a rank boost or rank benefit or rank them any higher as a result of having the long-term stay discount. In fact, first page impression rate dropped slightly from 44% to 42%. Now, that might sound um, counterintuitive from what I just said about impressions. An impression is every time you appear in search, a first page impression is every time you're on the first page of search. So you're appearing more in search overall for having a discount, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're getting ranked better. So wanna make that difference. So overall, the number of total first page impressions is about 114 for those that add the discount compared to 90 those that before they had the discount. So that's about a 27% increase in first page impressions overall. And then with click rate, the click rate for before was about 8% and after was pretty close, about 8%. So what what we're seeing is that pre-discount, the average clicks per day was about eight, and the average clicks per day after adding the discount was about nine. So it's about a 12% increase for those that added long-term stay. The bottom line here is that if you're looking for ways, especially in down season, to increase your traffic, to get pull out more bookings, offering a long-term stay discount can help you, at least on average, to the tune of about 12%. So if you wanna know what else works on Airbnb, hit subscribe.